very good to see you. Did you watch the Oscars last night? They were last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You missed it again. Uh. <laughs> you didn't even go into your nominated for, for Best Actor, right? What? Yeah. Uh, you were nominated uh, for Witness, the movie Witness. You were nominated in 1986. You did not attend the Oscars. Well, I, I had a lot of homework. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were here. It's old news. Or maybe it was the time before. I don't remember. You were almost you were almost pleading with the Star Wars people to kill Han Solo. You were you were had enough of Han Solo. You wanted him dead. <laughs> and then and then we we're putting a different complexion on it all. <laughs> I figured that his that his utility had been exhausted, mm -hmm. bled out, mm -hmm. and I was uh but I was, and, and I was willing to die for the cause. The cause. Oh, well, I didn't realize it was <laughs> to bring some gravitas, some base. And you did indeed die for the cause. And I yet, did. Then we, we well, go to see and the, then the new no, movie. You know, no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jesus, Han Solo rose again. I like Jesus. Maybe a little less dramatically than Jesus, but and it took more time than it took Jesus, but it's still like Jesus, yes. And how did that happen? Who convinced you to do that? Because I would imagine it would take some convincing. Uh, JJ said, uh, uh, this is a good idea. Uh -huh. I, JJ, have decided that this is a good idea. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I would like you to do it. <laughs> and you trust him enough that when he says something like that, you're on board? Don't you? Well, yes, I do. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. 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 But, I'm, you know, I'm not Harrison Ford. Quite a distance I, from it. Yeah. I'm actually not either. You're not? <laughs> yeah, well, remove this man. <laughs> what kind of music? I'm a little Harry Ford. <laughs> I'm what, Harry Ford. What kind of music are you, do you like in general? Uh, I like, I generally like the kind of music that nobody is liking at the time. I see. Because this is something that Brazilian was posted by music. Sergio Mendez and, and on Facebook. And uh, there he is, Sergio Mendez. He did yeah. a lot of very popular songs. And that's me. And, and <laughs> <laughs> he wrote The Force Awakens before Han Solo. There's a great carpenter named Harrison Ford. And here he is with his crew the day they finished building my recording studio back in 1970. Thank you, Harrison. May the Force be with you. And there you are, yeah. baked out of your mind, yes? <laughs> No, oh, I'm not baked out of my mind. I'm working. <laughs> I'm working, man. When you were working as a carpenter and building these kind of places here in L.A., would you charge more to a celebrity than you would to a regular civilian? Wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio spent $6 million on that recording studio. Do you still fix things around the house? Do you still put those skills to use? Um, yeah, uh, if it's not too complicated. If it's not too complicated, you will do it? Yeah. And are people overly impressed by that? Not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she expects it and you do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You uh, worked at the first, is it, was it the first Crate and Barrel in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. When was that, that you worked at Crate and Barrel? Because I love this idea, this vision. It was for about four months until I got fired. You, oh, they fired you? Yeah. Why did they fire you? I came back l late from lunch. That was it? Yeah. What was your position there? I, I, I vaguely remember that I was either, uh, it was their first store. Uh-huh. And um, um, the couple that owned the company were still there. Was this Crate and Barrel? Was crate it, and Barrel. Yeah. What was your job there? I was uh, uh, the incompetent manager of the store. Oh, you were the manager of the store? I think so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was the store more rustic? Like, was the stuff more, more substantial there back then? There were crates and barrels. There were actual <laughs> crates and barrels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the stuff was in crates and barrels. <laughs> Hence the name, I guess, huh? <laughs> well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, well, I have a bunch of things to talk to you about, including the new Good. movie, The Call of the Wild, which uh, Harrison Ford is in. He stars in. We'll be right back with Harrison Ford after this. Hey, Jesus.
Watch yourself. That's the call of the wild, Harrison Ford. And where the hell would you guys find a dog that plays the harmonica? That is impressive. <laughs> Jimmy, we made the dog up. You made a dog? Up. Impossible. I don't believe it. <laughs> Out of a dog part. Out of dog parts? No, it, there's, there's no dog. There was no dog? What do you mean there's no dog? I saw a dog. I saw the dog playing the harmonica. If there was a dog, he'd be sitting right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's, no, There's dog. no dog? Oh, well, you've ruined everything no now. Yeah, uh, yeah. By the way, the I don't know if you've seen... I'm not I know. saying don't go to the movie. <clears throat> because in the movie, there's a dog. There is a dog. But when I shot that scene... No, no dog. No dog. <laughs> I said... Have you seen the reviews? Where's the dog? <laughs> And there he said, right there. here, in call, your head. The call of the wild. That's that call the... was perfect. Donald J. Trump. Yeah, this was, was a, a perfect, perfect call. call. <laughs> I call it a perfect call. It's a great call, not just a good call. So the reviews are really pouring in. <laughs> Were you, you know... That's the first thing that some bitch has done for me. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you know, um, Science Bob is a. Uh, speaking of a science. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, speaking of science, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, science has come under attack, hasn't it? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Out the door. We don't believe in science anymore. Nobody here believes in science anymore, right? We can't even believe in dogs anymore, thanks to. <laughs> Some of this stuff, you know. That's 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 a lesser offense. Were you a um, were you good in science when you were in school? I was good. I I, I was uh, I was good at the uh, uh, dissection. Uh huh. At the cutting up of the yeah, yeah. Of, of small dead animals. Uh huh. Did you get good grades in school in general? Up until about the fifth grade. <laughs> when did you peak? <laughs> sixth, sixth grade. Hundred percent sixth grade was yeah, my peak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of. I, I wasn't a I wasn't a great student. No, that's why I'm an actor now because uh, <laughs> because in the middle of my uh, uh, college career, I realized that I was never going to make it. That it wasn't happening. No. Would you be interested in staying out and maybe picking up some of that science knowledge that you may have missed uh, by dropping out of school? Yeah, because otherwise, how do we know um, um, real information right. from total? Right, exactly. It's science. So what we're, <laughs> we're going to do is, uh, if you don't mind, science. we will take a break and we will come back. And when we do, we will weed out with Harrison Ford and Science Bob the real from the. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Harrison Ford, the Call of the Wild, opens February twenty first. We'll be right back with Science Bob. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.